Katie, when I was writing this speech and thinking about all the fun times that we've had together, um, it really made me laugh a lot um, and smile. We've been so fortunate. We've been able to travel together. We grew up well, nearly three years apart, or 18 months, as you would say. <laughs> but we have such a special bond. But like all siblings, there is always a rivalry and a competitive side that comes out. When I was losing a fight, I would just sit on Kate. When, Kate, <laughs> when one of the biggest fights that I can remember us having or one of the discrepancies that we had, you, Kate is a brilliant speller, I'm terrible, and you would say all these things and say all these big words like rendezvous and try and tell me, ask me how to spell it in front of people. I still to this day don't know how, but I'm fairly sure there's a Z in there somewhere which completely throws me. But... With that came Kate's love for big words and thinking that she would just interject them all the time into these sentences. So at about eight years old, uh, mum and dad are watching 60 Minutes and it's some show, <laughs> some show about um, Africa. I think it was Ghana and it was the women that have got all those necklaces on and they're jumping up and down and some of them have the big hair and Kate thinks, oh, this is great. She puts on this wig, this big black afro and she comes strutting out of her bedroom and she goes, look at me with my big aphrodisiac. <laughs> yeah, it's not quite it. <laughs> Flashing forward a few years, um, I touched just earlier that we've travelled a lot. Um, Kate's sense of direction is awful. And by awful, it's 50-50 chance most of the time and she gets it wrong 100% of the time. <laughs> When we were in America, um, we went to a Yankees game, baseball, and Kate was absolutely convinced that we had to go left on the train. And I couldn't explain to her that there's north and south and when you come up one set of stairs, we're going to the right here, but if we go up the other set, it's still going to be to the right. She's like, no, no, we're going left, we're going left, we're going left. And I was like, no, that's the Bronx. We want to go to Manhattan. <laughs> I was like, that's not where we're going. Um, it took me, I had to actually take her to the tech ticket booth to ex get that lady to tell her that it was not that way and we had to go to Manhattan. But the reason I touch on that is because even though your sense of direction has been terrible since we were kids, you are obviously doing something right because it, it's led you to Luke and to this wonderful family. When I think about all the fun that we've had over the years, or all of the laughs that we've had, or the moments where you've told me, Sarah, be serious. The biggest one that comes to mind was meeting Luke. And we had heard so much about this Luke, and I was like, oh, who is this guy? Like, he seems like he must be really, like, really f the one for Kate, because couldn't, you couldn't speak more highly of him. The day finally came when I got to meet Luke, and I was sitting on the couch watching a movie, and Kate's like, please be normal, Sarah, just be normal. <laughs> He's so lovely, he's probably going to be a little bit shy. Can, can you just be nice, just don't say anything weird. So I was so scared, <laughs> and I was like, okay, be normal. I've gone to stand up not knowing that all of your family, Luke, hug, and I work with a lot of men, so I went to shake his hand. So I've gone to greet Luke, and not only missed his hand, because he's come to hug me, I've given him a little jab in the chest. <laughs> And while I've done that, he's embraced me and all I can see is Kate in the kitchen going, what the hell? I said be normal. <laughs> Dee, I got it right with you. When I met you, I went straight in for the hug. <laughs> of all of the fun stuff that I could say, I, I look back and go, I'm so lucky to have a sister like you, Kate. You are my best friend, like you are the best person. I was born to be a big sister, I'm bossy, I like to lead, I like to teach. I'm always going to look fondly on our Snapchats and our FaceTimes when you're asking me, are these sausages cooked? <laughs> like this time, <laughs> this time is, is, you know, almost gone. But 
of all the things, Katie, like as much as I've tried to be a guide for you in your life and be your big sister, you are teaching me so much. And I am so proud of you. The life that you've built with Luke and the wonderful house that you guys have. I just, I wish you all the happiness in the whole world. And I love you so much. So. In closing, I wish you guys the world of happiness and I can't wait for you to make me an auntie. <laughs> and if everybody would toast my beautiful sister Kate and my now brother-in-law, Luke. Yay. Congratulations, guys. <laughs>